This tree and plaque honoring Sue Soltis's mother, Wilma, and this bench below honoring her sister, Heidi, both died by suicide years ago. Today, Sue is continuing to honor their memory by being a member of the loss team, only two in the state of Pennsylvania, and helping others cope with tragedy. It's the last photo Sue Soltis has of her family together. So, in, and it's interesting, when you see a photo, you never know when it's going to be the last photo. It was her parents' 50th wedding anniversary, November of 2000, roughly six months before her sister, Heidi R. Saltanoff, took her own life. And about 20 months after that, her mother, Wilma Yar, also dying by suicide. Had a loss team come in to provide us with support, resources, comfort, to say you're not alone, to say it wasn't your fault, would have been tremendous as far as our healing. Which is why Sue is now doing that exact thing for others, finding her purpose in pain through the Westmoreland County Local Outreach to Suicide Survivors, or LOSS, team. There's only two in the state. If someone dies by suicide in the county, the team, which started in late June, goes to the grieving family to provide support and resources. And the fact that these people give of their time to go out whenever, wherever they're needed, to see people at their worst, and to offer them that support. It's so special. The nonprofit Mental Health America of Southwestern PA manages the finances for Ray of Hope, Westmoreland County Suicide Awareness and Prevention Task Force. Ray of Hope partnered with the coroner's office to create the loss team made up of volunteers. They are trained. Um, you know, we send them for, for training to, and get them certified. And also each member of the loss team uh, actually lost someone to suicide so they can, um, you know, go through and they can relate to what the, the family members are going through. So that was real important as well. The loss team's lead coordinator, Heather McLean, says the county saw over 60 suicides last year, the highest in county history. She says the losses are people of all different ages and backgrounds. But I really, really feel that the more we talk about it, the more we educate, the more we say it's okay not to be okay. I think social media plays a huge part in it, that everyone's on there looking like they have a perfect life and they only share that perfect life. Trying to raise awareness and provide comfort and support for families facing the loss of loved ones. That. So I'm trying to bring a message of hope to the people that are newly bereaved that you can live again and you can live in their honor and you can honor them. Back here at the memorial dedicated to Sue's sister Heidi and her mother Wilma at Blue Slide Park, Sue says they used to love coming here as kids. If you'd like to learn more about resources, you can click on this story on WTAE.com. Tori Orgy, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.